one. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the value of this double integration. But first of all, we have to convert it into polar coordinate system and then we have to solve. So first of all, we will try to find the region of integration by considering these limits. So as you can see here, the inner integration with respect to x and outer integration with respect to y. So these are limits of x. So I should write x is equal to x is equal to these are limits of y. So y is equal to y is equal to. Okay, so we will consider all these curves one by one. We will try to draw their graphs here. So we will get region of integration. So let me write region is bounded by region is bounded by so I'm considering this first curve x is equal to root 3y. As you can see here, power of x is 1, power of y is also 1. So that's why it represents a straight line. So how to draw a straight line? We need to have any two points on the line. So by joining them, we will have the line. So for, get, uh, for getting those two points, I'm drawing this table. Okay. So yeah, I should mention here, this is a line. So this is a line. So I'm considering here x, y and a point x, y. Okay. What will I do? I will put y is equal to 0 here. So if I put y 0, value of x will be 0. So the point is 0, 0. That means this line passes through this point 0, 0. Next, after that, I will put y is equal to 1. If I put y is equal to 1 here, value of x will be root 3. So the point will be root 3 comma 1. So value of root 3, we don't know exactly, but definitely it is greater than 1 and less than 2. So it will be somewhere here and 1. So that means point will be somewhere here. Okay, so I'm uh, drawing a line which passes through these two points. Okay, let me draw a line. So we have got a line like this. Yes, so this is a line x is equal to root 3y. Let us go further. What is the second curve? x is equal to root 4 minus y square. So we cannot say directly anything about it. So what will I do? I will take square of both sides to remove the square root. So therefore, x square is equal to 4 minus y square. Will you guess the next step? Yes, we have to take that y square on this side. So therefore, x square plus y square is equal to 4. Now this equation is in its standard form. So this is the equation of circle. Let me mention here, this is a circle. Okay, what is its center? Will you tell me? It's a standard circle. So center is uh, 0, 0 and radius is 4 is there. So 2, 4 is the square of 2. So radius is 2. So we have to draw a circle with center 0, 0, radius 2. Circle will be like this. Let me, I'm drawing a rough sketch of a circle. Okay. So see, we have a circle like this. Okay. So as you can see here, so that circle and line intersects each other getting so we we are interested to find a point of intersection so how to find a point of intersection technique is very simple we put one equation in second equation let us do that okay yes uh, to find to find points of intersection points of intersection we put we are putting for one equation that means one equation is x is equal to root 3y in x square plus y square is equal to 4 so i'm putting its value in that equation so here we have to take square of this one so 3y square plus y square is equal to 4 so therefore 3y square plus y square you can easily say this is 4y square is equal to 4 4 4 cancel so y square is equal to 1 so therefore y is equal to plus minus 1, right? y is equal to plus minus 1. So let us find the points for y is equal to 1 and for y is equal to minus 1. See, if I put y is equal to 1, you can put y is equal to 1 here or there, doesn't matter. So I'm putting it here. So value of x will be root 3. So the point is, point is, root 3 comma 1 and if i put y is equal to minus 1 here value of x will be minus root 3 so the point of intersection will be minus root 3 minus 1 okay so that means one point we have here that is uh, i should mention here so this is 1 comma root 3 and this point is minus 1 comma minus root 3 so we got both points of intersection okay so we have considered two curves now let us go further now 
y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1, this is the equation of line parallel to x-axis. So let me mention a line parallel to x-axis. So you know that this is a line parallel to x-axis which passes through y is equal to 1, okay. So uh, here, see, uh, what is the x coordinate? So I should mention here root 3 comma 1, okay. So root 3 comma 1 we have and this is minus root 3 comma 1 minus root 3 comma minus 1 sorry yes what is the y coordinate of this point 1 and this is also y is equal to 1 so that means line passes through this point of intersection okay so we are good we have got this line y is equal to 1 all right next y is equal to 0 will you tell me y is equal to 0 equation of what this is equation of x axis so this is x axis okay yes so the region is bounded by y is equal to 0 let me mention here y is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 the region of integration line lies between these two lines okay but see you know there's still there is some confusion this region or that region so you can see easily here the inner integration with respect to x that means original strip is parallel to x axis right and strip is bounded below by the line and strip is bounded above by the circle so if you consider strip here so if you then strip is bounded below by this line, bounded above by this circle. So that's why this is a region of integration. Okay, so let me show it here. So this is a region of integration, right? Okay. So see, after that, to convert a problem in polar coordinate system, we have to put x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta, and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. Let me write it, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So I have mentioned that thing here, okay? So after substitution, okay, our first task is to convert equations of all these curves in polar coordinate system, okay? Let us start to do one by one. So what we have, okay, we have, we have the first curve, x is equal to root 3y. So I will try to convert it in polar coordinate system. What is value of x? It is r cos theta, right? Root 3. What is value of y? It is uh, r sin theta. What can we do after this? Definitely we can cancel RR from both sides. So cos theta is equal to root 3 sin theta. See now what will I do? I'm going to shift cos theta on that side and root 3 on this side. So 1 by root 3, okay, is equal to sin theta upon cos theta, which is tan theta. Will you tell me at what value of theta, the value of tan is 1 by root 3? It is pi by 6, right, okay. So theta is equal to pi by 6 we have got. See, so equation of this line is theta is equal to pi by 6, right. After that, we have a second curve that is, uh, yes, this x is equal to, we had written uh, this th thing, we have x is equal to root 4 minus y square. To remove square root, okay, you know that uh, we take square of both sides, so this is x square is equal to 4 minus y square by shifting y square on this side x square plus y square is equal to 4 so this is equation of circle we have so let us convert it into polar form that means i will put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta so r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta is equal to 4 definitely we can take r square common so we will have cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1. So, therefore, r square is equal to 4. So, let us take square root. See, r is, uh, r square is 4. That means, r is equal to plus minus 2 is expected, but r is a radius getting. So, distance actually, it cannot be negative. So, that's why r will be 2 only. So, we have a very simple equation of circle, which is r is equal to 2. Okay. So, after that, we have to find limits of r and theta since we are converting the integral in polar coordinate system. So, you know that in polar coordinate system, we always draw a strip which starts at origin. That means we have a strip like this. I hope it is visible to you. So, uh, this is a strip. It will move like this. Okay. So, one end of uh, that strip is stick to the origin and it will move like this and it will cover the entire region of integration. Okay. So, let me mention then we have to find limits of r and theta strip is bounded below by origin where the value of r is zero getting and strip is bounded above by a circle part of a circle where the equation of circle is r is equal to 2 just now we have got so r varies from 0 to 2 let us talk about theta 
so to cover the region of integration the strip will start at positive x axis getting so where the angle we consider zero it will move like this and it will go up to this line so at that line strip should stop since the region of integration will be over there so at that line the value of theta is pi by 6 so i should mention theta varies from 0 to pi by 6 so in this way we have got a limit so therefore let me write the given integral again in polar form integration inner integration with respect to r having limit 0 to 2 outer integration with respect to theta having limit 0 to pi by 6 let us talk about the function now so square root of okay square root of x square what is our x yeah yes r cos theta so this is r square cos square theta plus y square what is our y r sin theta so this is r square sin square theta okay and dx dy dx dy is equal to what r dr d theta r dr d theta let us solve it further integration 0 to pi by 6 0 to 2 right square root of what can we do we can take r square common there so we'll have cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so that's why we will have square root of r square into r dr d theta so that r square is in square root and one r outside the square root but what will happen that square square root will get cancelled to each other right and we will have simply r and this r into that r that means r square we will have so inside the integration we will have simply r square dr d theta okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it so let us solve it further see uh, we will integrate with respect to r first let me write the outer integral as it is 0 to pi by 6 integration of r square is r cube by 3 you know 0 to 2 d theta first of all i will put upper limit so 2 cube which is 8 okay 8 by 3 we will have if you put 0 we will have 0 8 by 3 is constant so that's why i'm taking outside 0 to pi by 6 d theta okay what is integration of d theta it is theta 0 to pi by 6 let us put upper limit first then we will put lower limit so 8 by 3 into pi by 6 lower limit is 0 so if you put 0 we will have 0 so that's why simply i wrote pi by 6 can we cancel anything yes definitely here uh, 2 2 will get cancelled so 4 pi and uh, 2 3 9 so this is a required answer 4 pi by 9 make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye